Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Dictation 190. Already 190. Ten more and it will be DD200. Can you believe it? Now, the new DD will be not too difficult. It's about winning lots of money in America this Wednesday there is a big chance that somebody will become very very rich maybe it will be one of our listeners or watchers I don't know we'll find out about DD90 in a minute we need to go back to DD189 which was a very confusing dilemma let's listen again Imagine you've got a train and it's hurtling down a track. In its path, five people are trapped on the line and cannot escape. Fortunately, you can flick a switch which diverts the train down a fork in that track away from those five people, but at a price. There is another person trapped down that fork and the train will kill them instead. Question, should you flick the switch? Yes, now remember this dilemma is just a hypothetical situation. But it is a real question that psychiatrists ask. And why do they ask this question? To try and understand a person's ability of empathy. Empathy. Some people don't have any empathy, and that makes them very cold and dangerous people. Maybe George Bush has no empathy? I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist, but some people believe that. So it is actually a serious question. Let me give you the answers. All right. Now, first of all, the very first sentence was, I'll read it here, imagine you've got a train and it's hurtling down a track. In its path, five people are trapped on the line and cannot escape. Fortunately, you can flick a switch which diverts the train down a fork in that track away from those five people but at a price. There is another person trapped down that fork and the train will kill them instead. Question, should you flick the switch? Okay? So in the first part, imagine you've got a train and it's hurtling down the track. When we say the word hurtling, it means going very, very fast almost too fast, it would be very difficult to stop something that is hurtling. So the train is hurtling down a track and in its path, in its route, there are five people trapped on the line and cannot escape. So this is a typical picture you can think of. Okay, so we see the five people on the track. And then we go here. Fortunately, you can flick a switch. Let's go back to the picture. So do you see the guy? He's, he's holding something. And if he turns it, if he, if he does this, he'll change the direction of the train. So that's the idea of flick a switch. Flick a switch. Usually, we use this when we talk about a light switch. So here's a picture of a light switch. And if you just use your finger and doop, doop, you can flick. This is the idea of flick, flick. Okay, so you might have a, a, a piece of paper and you can flick the paper. Uh, I have a magic marker and I'll use my thumb and I can flick the magic marker. Or you could do this. Oh no, I didn't do anything, but flick, flick. Yeah, sorry, that, that's the idea of flick. You could. Ow, flick somebody's ear. 
in middle school, we used to do that to each other. Bow, bow, ow, it really hurts. That's the idea of flick, okay? But here, flick a switch, like the light switch, or sh flick, click, a sound comes up. Flick, t t flick a switch, okay? A switch, on, off, left, right, this way, that way. Flick a switch, which diverts the train. So to divert the train, it changes the direction of the train. So the train is going this way. If you flick a switch, it diverts the train that way. Okay? Diverts something. To change the direction of something. So, you can, you have the possibility of flicking a switch which would divert the train down a fork in that track. So a fork in the track, here's the picture, and do you see how the, the track goes straight, but then it can go like this too? This is the fork, okay? And it's just like when we eat, okay? A fork, usually a fork would have maybe three pieces, but anyway, a fork in the track. We can also say a fork in the road. Okay, in that road, okay? But in this case, because we're talking about a train, we say a track, okay? A car would be a road, a train would be a track. So you could divert the train, divert away from, so these go together, diverts the train away from those five people, but at a price, at a cost, okay? So in other words, you can save five people, but you have to pay something, or you have to lose something. What is that price? What is that cost? The next sentence. There is another person trapped down that fork, and the train will kill them instead. So back to our picture. We have the choice of killing five people or one person. Question. Should you flick the switch? Should you? Now, if we say it quickly, should you, we get that J sound. Should you, perfect pronunciation, should you, should you flick the switch? And that's the dilemma. The dilemma, should you flick the switch, kill five people or one person? Most people say they're going to flick the switch. They would choose one death over five deaths. I think that's the general answer for most people. Now, like I said, this is only half of the question. There's another part of the question which is more difficult. And if you didn't listen to the video, try and listen again and see if you can understand it. And yes, thank you, Yuri, and to uh, one of our listeners from Vietnam, there is on YouTube a lecture from Harvard University that also discusses this dilemma. So down below, I'll put that link too. So thank you very much. So once again, this is a serious question, actually. And uh, it talks about, it evaluates empathy. Are you empathetic or do you have no empathy? Are you able to care about other people from their perspective. Sympathy and empathy are different. Sympathy and empathy. Check your dictionaries. Everybody seems to have some sympathy, but empathy is not that easy. I hope you have empathy. Me, I have some empathy, but I need to concentrate more to improve or increase my levels of empathy. Okay? Okay, everybody did a pretty good job. Difficult words, nothing too bad. Hurtling, that was a tough word. And of course, 
diverts. And remember, diverts change the direction away from. So these two go together. Uh, at a price, very good expression. At a price. And uh, fork, where's fork? Yep, fork is a good expression. A fork in the road. A fork in the river. And uh, flick a switch. So we could say, turn the light on, turn the light on, flick the switch, flick the switch, turn it on or turn it off. It's the same idea. Okay? Anything else? Uh, at a price, once again, is a great expression. Sometimes the price is money. Sometimes the price is life. Sometimes the price is pain. Sometimes the price is time. So when we talk about something, you can have something but at a price. So for example, you can master English but at a price. You have to study a lot and you have to listen to daily dictation all the time and listen to every other channel that's on YouTube and study, 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 but try and have fun. Okay, that's the story. Let's listen two more times, and then we go to an easier DD-190. Imagine you've got a train and it's hurtling down a track. In its path, five people are trapped on the line and cannot escape. Fortunately, you can flick a switch which diverts the train down a fork in that track, away from those five people, but at a price. There is another person trapped down that fork and the train will kill them instead. Question, should you flick the switch? Imagine you've got a train and it's hurtling down a track. In its path, five people are trapped on the line and cannot escape. Fortunately, you can flick a switch which diverts the train down a fork in that track away from those five people but at a price. There is another person trapped down that fork and the train will kill them instead. Question, should you flick the switch? I think we all have had a dream where we were really, really, really rich. We had so much money we didn't need to worry about anything. Well, how much is enough money for you? If you wanted to be free, to do whatever you wanted, travel anywhere, buy whatever, how much money do you need? Do you need $100,000? Is that enough for you? Or maybe a million dollars? Is that enough for you? How much is enough for you? You can continue to work, but once again, to be free from financial worries. How much is enough? That's my question to you. DD-190 is about a lottery. We have several lotteries in the United States, and one is called Powerball. And on Wednesday, they're having a drawing. They're going to pick the lottery numbers, and the winner might receive $425 million. I have a special question to Saad. How much is, how many gallons of gasoline or how many liters of gasoline can you buy with 425 million dollars? Good luck on that one. <laughs> okay, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> My cold is almost done. Now, uh, your dictation mission is this. The reporter asks a question. So, if you won the money, what would you do? And a man gives his answer. Okay? So I want you to dictate the answer. You have three things to do. Number one, how much money is enough for you? Number two, dictate the answer. And number three, if you won 
425 million dollars, what would you do with that money? Okay? And that's it. All right, that's it for DD190. Uh, thank you everybody for joining Daily Dictation to the new watchers. Hello, thank you very much. Please tell your friends and share my video on Facebook and Twitter and Orcut and BK.com and every place else. I really appreciate it. The more we grow, the more I can do videos for you. So I really appreciate your support. Don't forget my other channels too. And please follow me on Twitter so you can get a picture of this board and that might help you. And occasionally audio. My Halo is not working on my phone. I don't know what the problem is. So I've, excuse me, I've reinstalled it, but it still is not working. So I'm not giving up and uh, I'll, hopefully it'll work for me eventually. Anyway, uh, please follow me on Twitter and I'll see you not tomorrow, but probably on Thursday. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, I pay off my bills and retire, just like everybody else. Well, I pay off my bills and retire, just like everybody else. Well, I pay off my bills and retire, just like everybody else. Well, I pay off my bills and retire, just like everybody else.